figured out where it is. There's a knife here. That knife? Do you think it's the murder weapon? I'd say so. Why are you the best part? The defendant's fingerprints are all over it. He even admitted it was his. Are you serious? Oh yeah. That guy didn't that guy didn't even bother cleaning up after himself. This case will be open in tonight. Just watch. This is Mr. Parker's name? I guess you ask some more about it. That knife was found next to the body. It's got Parker's fingerprints all over the handle. No question about it, man. That's what killed him. How did that little knife cause such a big mess? I don't think I've ever seen a crime scene this bloody. Well, consider yourself lucky you didn't find the body. That guy was barely still in one piece when we got here. What? That's disgusting! Yeah, it was pretty nasty. It was really almost cut in half? I won't go into all the gory details, but yeah. Yeah, he was. If you really want to know more, you'll have to read about it later. The coroner just got done making that. You can have a copy. I know one thing for sure. It wouldn't be easy to chop somebody up like that. You'd have to be, like, crazy strong. Unfortunately for us, Mr. Parker fits that description. clearance to be here. The police are... Oh, why, hello there. Hi, my name is Phoenix Wright. I'm a defense lawyer. I'm Sarah. Sarah Keyes. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Phoenix. It's not often I get to meet such a true lawyer. Uh, thanks. You must be the witness that the next water is close about. Yeah, I guess I must be, you know. Sorry, but the client is totally guilty. You sure about that? I'm absolutely sure. Please, it's alright with you. I'd like to talk about the murder. Oh, please. You don't have to be so formal with you and me. The friend's now. Just call me Sarah. Okay, Sarah. Oh, I'm just thrilled to meet you, Pinku. How can I help you? Pinku? You don't mind if I call you that, do you? I think it sounds cute. Cute name for a cute boy. You. I. What? If you don't like it, I can use you to meet me instead. Does that sound better? That might actually be worse. Do you know each other? Not that I'm aware of. Who are you? You me? Yes. Who else do I have to talk to? My name's Lana Faye. I'm Nick's sister. Pleased to meet you, Sarah. Ms. Keys. Huh? Please call me Ms. Keys. Oh, uh, sorry, Ms. Keys. Good. Wow, warm my Can you tell me about what you saw this morning? Yep, he did it. No question there. What do you mean he did it? Wait, he did it. He stole right in there and slashed the part back. Poor Mr. Slashed the part. Poor Mr. Gonzalez. Mr. Parker's such a nice guy, though. He couldn't do that. Nice. Are we talking about the same person? Mr. Parker's nothing but a big teddy bear. He wouldn't hurt a fly. That's a good one. 
You know, you're really funny, Marla. Hey, I'm not joking. I don't believe he's the killer. Wayne goes in. Marla's still coming. I was here the whole time. He's the only one who could have done it. It does make him look rather suspicious. Did you actually see him commit the murder? Nope, it doesn't matter. He's the only one who came through here that night. Is it possible to come in another way? Hmm. Yeah, I'm the third story of this tower. This is the only hall in that room. There is no other way. Does Mr. Parker have a reason to want him dead? Oh, I don't know. I'm sure there are lots of people who are there. Lots of people? What do you mean by that? Oh, you know. Could you maybe go into a bit more detail? Well, he was just kind of a disagreeable guy. He got into lots of arguments and stuff, you know. Alright. Arguments. What is it exactly you do here, Ravala? Sarah? I'm Mr. Ravala's receptionist. I also felt Double S's security team. Well, I did, at least. Before he totally got split apart. Split apart? Oh, it was horrible. I walked in there and tried to spot him. Ah, ah, stop, stop! There's a brain in the game. I know, gross, right? I think I'm going to be sick. His intestines are pretty messed up, too.
jury system. How can you be on law enforcement and not know that? Ah, okay. Profiles. Talk to this 
chest. Do you keep any records? All the things you've ever recorded and stored in our databases. Only the videos from the last few days are on this computer now. Can you store all the data you record? Why do you need to do that? Mr. Rebella is like to keep tabs on the computer in the way. The security of this is real. Definitely him. See, when he goes in, Rivalis doesn't come out. Apart from Mr. Rivalis himself, there's only one person who enters the room on this video. Wayne. Hey, wait, a large chunk of this video is missing. Hmm? There's no footage from 5.38 till 6.27. Oh, yeah, we had a power outage. Did I forget to say that? Yes. That's incredibly important. Sorry, we totally didn't have any power then. No lights, no cameras, nothing. I think I got something on that somewhere. Here it is. Maybe that will help you get the guilty verdict you want. Alright, us. Present evidence. Glowing green eyes, apparently. Oh, wait, no, that's a beak. And it's yellow. Hey, come on, let me in. I told you already, kid. You're not getting in here. Now get lost. You can't stop me, old man. I'll get in one way or another. Looks like that officer is having trouble with some mouthy teenager. You just watch. I'll be back. Whatever, kid. Just beat it. What are you looking at, Pops? Sorry, I didn't mean to stare or or laugh. You two were just making a rather big scene. Yeah, well, it's that cop's fault. He won't let me into the crime scene up there. He has rules to follow. He's just doing his job. Ha! No way. I can go up there if I want. Objection! 
crime scene should be left to the proper authorities. You really don't want to get messed up in them. Yeah, right. I've been to a crime scene before. I know what. Hey, do I know you, Pops? I don't think so. Hey, I do. You're that lawyer man, aren't you? Lawyer man? Yeah, you are. I recognized your objection. It's me, Cody Hackins. Remember me? Can't say that I do. Nick, Cody was that little kid from my first case as your assistant. Oh yeah, I remember there being a boy who witnessed the murder. I can see he's still having problems with authority. You've really grown up, Cody. Well, it has been over ten years since you last saw me. I still remember that trial like it was yesterday. The steel samurai put on trial, and lawyer man saves his butt. Wow, Nick, you're a hero. I guess. I guess I am. I don't know nothing about that. Present all the things. Cody, you were here when the murder happened. Did you by any chance recognize this? Yeah, I think I do. That's what hit that detective guy, isn't it? Really? Do you know where it was? Nope, not at all. Uh -oh. Have you tried putting it back together yet? No. Well, get on that. You ready to do this? Yeah, let's do this. Alright. Yeah! Wow, these two. Oh, crap. Um... Let's see, what's this? Okay, it looks like a gun... Is there a rotating? I guess not. So... Uh -oh. Up there. This. So this gun. It won't be working anytime soon, but it's definitely a gun. That thing got really smashed up when it fell. No kidding. The detective must have gotten really hurt when it hit him. A gun hits Gumshoe at almost exactly the same time that a murder occurs in the building next to him. That's too much for me to just accept as a coincidence. Hey, if you think it came from the crime scene, we should dust for prints. I have a fingerprinting kit at home. We could use that. That'd be great, Cody. I'm not even going to ask why he has one of those. I can meet you back here tomorrow if you want. Tomorrow might be too late. Hey, don't look at me like that. It's almost night, and it takes a long time to get downtown. No, oh, it's fine. I guess we'll just have to make do without it for now. And hopefully Mr. Parker won't be found guilty by then. Don't worry, Nick. You can do it. I know he didn't kill Mr. Rivales. Rivalis? As in Michael Rivalis? Yes. Friend of yours? No way, Pops. I'm not dumb enough to get involved with the mob. You're saying that the dead guy is this time is the Michael Rivalis? He's important to get he's important enough to get the in front of his name? Of course. He's only the ruler of all the crime in this city. He's the baddest of the bad. I had no idea that Sir Galadriel went and killed him off. This is so awesome! So, Rivales was a king, criminal kingpin. I wonder if there's anybody else who could tell us more about this. Ooh, 
This is her galant. That's Sir Galante, Pops. Get it right. Yeah, Nick, get it right. Well, how was I supposed to know that wasn't a silent E at the end? Sir Galante is only the greatest superhero who ever lived. No way. The Steel Samurai will never be replaced. Ha! Ah, Steel Samurai is cool. He's just a character on a TV show. Sir Galante is the real thing. So he actually goes around killing, um, bad guys? You got it. So in other words, he's a serial killer. A serial killer? Killer? Ah! Sir Galante is the savior of the city. He's vanquishing all the evildoers so that the good people can live in peace. Check it out. I made it myself. I find it hard to believe somebody actually goes around killing criminals dressed up like a knight. Although, to be fair, I've seen the stranger things happen. You're just jealous because you didn't think of it first. He's the greatest. What's this Galante's Creed your poster talks about? He's got two rules he needs to follow. Protect the innocent and slay the evil. Slay the evil. Definitely sounds like a good role model material there. You bet. Say, Cody, how do you know so much about this guy? I'm his biggest fan. I know all about him. Well then. What? A cyclock? Cody, are you lying to me? Well, I... I... yeah. That's easy. Huh. I was expecting a bit more than that. What are you trying to hide from me, Cody? Hey, no way. I'm not even gonna think about trying to hide stuff from you this time. You have those secret lawyer superpowers to tell when I'm lying. Um, Cody? Let's just leave it, Maya. Things might be easier this way. Haha, <laughs> did I really tell him that? To be honest, Pops, I don't really know that much. I just know that I've heard on the news. All the stuff I told you is public information. Well, I guess that clears that matter up. Why do you want to see a murder scene so much? Really? You don't know? No. Jeez, Pops. I would guess that a guy like you would realize right away. I wanted to see one of his works. Excuse me, but what do you mean by his? You know, him. Sir Galante. Sir who? Sir Galante. The Tenebrous Templar. The Terror of the Underworld. You really don't know, do you? Sorry. Nick, Sir Galante is a criminal who has been chasing for over three years. Hey, he's not a criminal, he's a superhero. Okay, they are clearly pronouncing it out loud with the E. How did he mess that up? A superhero? How do I not know about this? Maybe he actually paid attention to the news instead of playing cards all day. So, Cody, how do you know that this superhero of yours was the murderer? I saw him. Saw him? Yeah, it was earlier this morning. You, you, you didn't see it, did you? No, I did get a picture. But what the? That's him, all right. The one and only Sir Galante. Why is he? Well, he's up there to deliver the righteous hand of justice. Um. Okay. This is up like a knife to strike fear into the hearts of all the evil doers. I guess killing them isn't scary enough. Cody took that photo, so I think he was here when the crime happened. I wonder if he might have seen anything else after I'm here. Don't worry, I'll be here tomorrow, and you can test that for fingerprints. I'm not sure it's best to be idolizing a murderer. Ha! You just don't understand these things.
house. I have these new bits of evidence. Ah, right, good. Center next time.